Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy because Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are going to have a comic book where they <laughs> where they what? Eat, sleep, bang, all that bull crap like I'm just I'm just I'm just over I'm over the, the them. I really am. I really am. I am I am so over over this relationship. I, I really do. I really, I really hate it. I really do hate it. And I, and I know that's just, you know, not much, but I, I, I just, oh God, I, I really hate this relationship. I, it, it, it is such a fan fiction thing or whatever. And I just can't even deal with the, with the whole thing or whatever. So it's kind of weird, like, you know, how they were talking about Batman can't go down on Catwoman. It's not something heroes would do. And because at the same time, well, you know, a lot of, I heard a lot of YouTubers and stuff trying to defend, um, trying to say, well, you know, because he's a universal character and we're marketing the characters being marketed to kids or whatever, stuff like that. So the fuck is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy? Their little gross ass lesbian relationship is being promoted to children. And don't say it's not. Yes, the hell it is. Yes, the hell it is. Yes, the hell it is. It's promoted. Is promoted just like Harley Quinn is promoted for little girls. So don't sit up here and try to be one for me and not the other. To be honest, all of it's stupid. But my thing is, it's the double standards of it all. If if Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy can gyrate and rub each other's pussies on the front cover, then Batman should be able to catnip that pussy that Catwoman got. Like I, I don't understand this kind of nonsense. And now you got you got articles of of people or whatever and stuff like that. I mean, so literally, Harley Quinn and uh, Poison Ivy um, are going to be a double entree of of calling their new series the Eat, Bang, and Kill Tour, where it's literally like, oh yeah, they're going to they're going to be eating, they're going to be banging, yes, killing, taking on party games, fucking marrying, killing. The title sees DC confirming as if there was any doubt that Harley Quinn and Ivy will eat each other out if if Selena's all out of of lick luck with Bruce. And, and, and the book is literally called that Harley Quinn, the Eat, Bang, Kill Tour. And then my thing is the art style is so YA right now that w what if a child picks this book up and was like, Mommy, I want to get it or whatever. And, you know, the mom doesn't even pay attention. Sure, whatever. And stuff like that. And then the first issue is literally, you know, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn rubbing clitoris together. Like, you make it make sense, DC. I, I'm sick of this double standard nonsense. And I'm sick of this whole lesbian empowerment woman, woman shit. Look, most character, most people on earth is not gay. That is a minutia. I don't know how many times we're going to have to keep saying this. And I will continue to constantly say this time and time again, DC, until you fools understand that you can't keep doing this nonsense. But what bothers me the most is that the fact that you literally said Batman can't do it, but then you're going to, you're going to greenlit Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn doing it on a comic book cover almost. And I don't want to hear nobody talking about, oh, is it because you hate gay people? No, no. The gay characters that I like, they don't do anything with them. They don't do anything with them, the gay characters. Instead, they take they take the classical straight characters that I do like. And they were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if they were gay? No, no, because it, it, it's too much. It's too many years of history dictating that they're not they're not gay. So or bisexual. So why even do it? Why do it? Don't do it. But but that, that's all I'm saying. Because for me, DC, is if you're gonna if you're gonna say yes to this, you have to say yes to Batman and Catwoman doing it. What what we should do? We should make Batman and Catwoman eat, bang, and, and lick. Oh, I bet you guys want I bet DC will have a problem with that. I bet you DC will have a problem with that. <sighs> Ah man, it's it is so stupid. And the story is is told by T. Franks Franklin. T. Franklin. I, I, oh God, I don't I don't even know. I don't I don't even know.
I, I, it just, oh boy, what the hell? And then you're going to ask somebody, they'll be like, hey, pay pay $4 and or um, pay $5 for this cheesy ass, lame ass comic book. I, I, I mean, y'all give me a headache. Y'all really do. Y'all really do. Y'all give me a headache and y'all make me disappointed to be a comic book fan in general. I'm so over the political agenda. I'm so over the fanfic. Yes, I don't care what nobody say. This is fanfic because Poison Ivy and, and, and Harley Quinn were not that relationship before New 52. And when New 52 came, the writers were like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we decided to take a fanfic? thing and do it it's the same thing with the course mm -hmm. thing y'all wanna y'all wanna have your cake and eat eat it too and you can't it just doesn't make any sense that's not the character that paul dini created that is not the character that was created from batman the animated series and then they also did a comic book on the character's origins mm -hmm. so i don't want to hear that this was something that was always there it wasn't it was fan fiction that was made real and now they have it into this r-rated show on hbo max even though most kids can't even see it but y'all upset that oh well i don't think batman and catwoman should be going down on each other and i don't think harley quinn and boys Ivy should be rubbing clitoris together but guess what guess what they is so hell let batman and catwoman get their little licks on or blow jobs or whatever who 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 cares who cares because my thing is if you're not going to if you're going to use the excuse of it's marketed for kids Batman Hush, Batman and Catwoman, Batman Rebirth Run literally had Batman screwing him, screwing Catwoman numerous of times. The Dark Knight Returns had him screwing Tanya Al Ghul. So don't give me that nonsense as, as if we ain't never seen Batman smash it. It's the same thing with Superman and Lois. Y'all have no problem of Superman and Lois screwing. And they're and it's it, and we've seen comic book pages of them in the bed together. Come on now, don't don't sit up here and try to get all one for thee and not for the other. Everyone, everyone, I'm talking about everyone. But all I'm saying is, don't try to say oh it's because they're villains. No, it doesn't matter. These characters are still promoted to daring girls because they wanted girls to watch this stuff just like they promoted birds of prey and the fact fantabulous emancipation of one harley quinn to little girls but forgot oops we put an r rating so girls can't really see it even though it was it was it was trash anyway girls don't need to see that bull crap anyway it's an insult to women any any damn way but anyway you know sure strong powerful woman needs to don't need no man or whatever and stuff like that let's rub clitoris together because that's hot that's hot, even though we were never gay until 2011. I mean, bisexual until 2011, even though Poison Ivy was created <laughs> damn near 50 years ago. But, you know, hey, go on, though. Go on. So, I, I mean, I guess we forgot what femme fatale means and why she's called Poison, Poison Ivy. Hell, it's like you guys even forgot about Batman and Robin when, we, when they were introduced Poison Ivy. And how she was a showstopper or a scene or whatever. And the reason why she got defeated was through Batgirl. Because her her charm and stuff doesn't work on women. But you know, again, go head on though. Go head on with your fan fiction though. I mean, because that's, that's what it looks like. It looks like fanfic. It looks like fanfic. And you got nobody to blame but yourself, DC. <laughs> you know, I, I just can't believe you agree with that. So I'm just saying, don't don't get mad if you start seeing a lot of images of Batman going down on on Catwoman as a cover, a variant cover for something that somebody's gonna do. I believe somebody's gonna do it, and it's gonna be funny, or just like you know, or or just like when you had Harley Quinn rape Nightwing, thought that was cute too, and you also co-signed with Batman and Batgirl screwing with each other. In the DC AU and in that damn terrible killing joke adaptation, or did you forget about that? <laughs> Got nothing to say now, DC. But it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.